Welcome. Today we will be discussing about sign test and Wilcoxon sign van test. Sign test is a non-parametric test performed on two related samples that are independently drawn from the same population which has a dichotomous result. In other words, the test follows a binomial distribution under the null hypothesis where probability of receiving a success is half. The sign test can be used in situations where two related t tests cannot be used due to violations in parametric test. In such occasions, the sign test can be used if the following assumptions are not violated. The assumptions are the differences are assumed to be independent. Both samples that are paired comes from the same population. The samples selected should be related. The scale of measurement of data is at least ordinal. Performing sign tests, the following data set is used. By using SPSS in variable view, we write the last year variable with zero decimals and the measurement scale is ordinal. The second variable is next year again with zero decimals and the measure is ordinal. In order to conduct sign test, the steps are and to go to analysis, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues and two related samples. So the variables are last year and next year. The test type we would do to calculate is sign test. By going to options, we can select to show descriptive statistics. In here, we can see that in descriptive statistics, it provides the number of observations, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. And also, it provides the frequencies. Here, you have to note that in sign tests, it provides positive and negative differences. That is, as suggested by the name, it only provides the sign. In the test statistics, you can see it provides the probability by using the binomial distribution. Here you can see at 5%, this test shows that there is a significant difference between next year and last year participants. Now if we consider the advantages of using sign test, it is easy to calculate and understand. And you can compute the critical values even without having a statistical table. However, due to the simplicity of this test, there are few disadvantages. They are decisions are made based on the direction of the difference and not the magnitude. Also, when the difference is zero, such observations are ignored. Wilcoxon sign rank test. It is another non-parametric test that can be performed on two related samples that are independently drawn from the same population. Here we assume that the distribution of differences is approximately symmetric around zero under the null hypothesis and comes from a continuous distribution. Therefore, the test statistic is the minimum of sum of ranks with positive differences and sum of ranks with negative differences. In this test, it can be normally approximated 
when the sample size n is greater than or equal to 20. Now if we consider the previous data set for this Wilcoxon sign rank test, we can use two related samples and select Wilcoxon test instead of the sign test. Here we can see as previous test there is a descriptive statistic and then for the rank test it provides the mean rank and sum of ranks of both positive and negative tests. For test statistic you can see for Z it has given as well as the p value. Now if we consider the Wilcoxon table with for cumulatives then the calculated value should be greater than the table value for not to reject the null hypothesis. If we consider the advantages of Wilcoxon sign rank test over sign test there both the direction of the differences and magnitude is considered for paired data. It is very popular test to compare two related samples. It is easy to calculate and interpret. For large sample sizes, normal approximation can be used. And if we consider the disadvantages of Wilcoxon sign rank test, it is that when the pair differences are zero, such observations are ignored. If we consider doing the sign text and Wilcoxon sign rank test using Minitab, so variable is last year and next year. In stack non-parametric, you can find pairwise differences. So if we consider last year and next year and store it in C3. Now we can find the Wilcoxon sign test and run sign test in stack non-parametrics one sample sign select C3 as differences and check for the test median. In this method you can see a descriptive statistics and the test. If we consider for Wilcoxon Again, select differences and test median. Like in the previous test, descriptive statistic and the test details are provided with p value. I hope you enjoy watching this video and learn something new. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.